Hello again, everyone. Keta Kostman, publisher of Madison's Lumber Reporter, coming to you from Vancouver, BC in Canada on this last day of August to let you know another update for lumber prices, the lumber market, and the latest data that has just come out for U.S. housing. Uh, right now I'm going to do uh, housing starts and permits, and the next video I'm going to do uh, home sales and house prices. Uh, so let's start with the lumber prices. Uh, I just did a couple of videos, I don't know, two weeks ago or something. And um, the, uh, the main benchmark item uh, prices were on their way down. So uh, just this past Friday, there was a bounce. Um, it kind of looks like the uh, producers and the buyers have reached a understanding and um, we've passed the bottom. So if you remember in the spring, there was an um, incredible high price, which everyone knew wasn't going to last at $1,600 per thousand board feet on those benchmark Western Spruce 2x4s that I talk about. And the uh, bottom seems to be somewhere around 382 uh, US per thousand board feet. And uh, if you remember, I've been saying that uh, for the past 10 years, since the housing uh, downturn in the US, that price was hovering somewhere around 225 or 250. Now let's note that at that same time, the cost of production was around 200. Those dynamics have changed radically and uh, at this point, the cost of production, depending on the mill and where it is, is uh, somewhere between 400, closer to 400. So as I've been saying, we are not going to see people are asking, you know, when is the price going to go back down? It, it's going to go down or it's, it's not going to stay at those highs that we've seen since um, third quarter last year. But it's not going to go back down to 225 or 250 because the mills will be losing money. And they've done that before, and it caused a huge crisis in so many other ways. So potentially where we are now is approximately at cost of production. Um, and coming into Labor Day, around the Labor Day long weekend, is a normal time for things to start slowing down. Of course, we are not in normal time. Last year was not a normal time. Uh, there was uh, a lot of fur going around in the media about the curtailments. Uh, Canfor uh, announced that for two weeks it would be um, slowing down production at all its British Columbia facilities for down to 80%. Conifex curtailed at McKenzie for about a week. This is normal. They take maintenance, downtime. People need to go on vacation. They need to assess where's the market for um, third quarter and the end of the year. And so this is not alarming. Uh, it's actually smart for them to do that. Now, just this week, actually, uh, yesterday, Monday, and today, it uh, looks like demand is heating up a little bit. A lot of those folks who were waiting on the sidelines to see, you know, where is this price going to end up? How low is it going to go? When should I start buying again? Are coming and uh, making requests at the sawmills. The sawmills feel like they're in a rather strong position and they're really not taking counter offers. They're still getting a lot of orders flowing in, so they're um, keeping the price um, higher than that 382. And the uh, desire for the mills uh, is to build the order file. Let's get production booked uh, for a few weeks as September rolls around, be able to keep the price up higher, be able to make some plans, and look at the demand for the housing and then make plans for the end of this year. We're all pretty certain that um, the beginning of next year is going to be strong, just like the beginning of this year. And as 2020 started, um, before the COVID uh, changes to society came on, um, the macroeconomic conditions looked really good for a strong year for U.S. housing. Now we have different reasons for why we think that. Um, but it's remaining uh, quite uh, high up. Um, and there's a couple of things going on that are um, making the supply look tenuous. And uh, one of those is that the fires are still going on here in BC. 
terrible, terrible situation. Last year was horrendous. This year, it looks like it's worse. Um, and, you know, tomorrow is September. So what happens for us up here in the north is that as the nights get longer, even if it's hot, it cools down a lot during the nighttime. This gives the firefighters an opportunity to get these fires contained. And that's where we are right now. Uh, so that the fact that the fires are still really a danger is uh, alarming for the future. And then the other thing is the storms. Uh, we had in the U.S. South and the Southeast, storm season came on a month early and is uh, quite ferocious. So we just have today word out of Louisiana, really um, very devastating uh, storm moving now uh, across the country. And, um, you know, September is storm season. So the demand uh, for reconstruction, the demand for a boarding up in advance of the storm, the supply up here with the problems with the wildfires, it's not normal. And we can't just look at the last 10 years and try to make a projection for the next year. I've seen some analysts make their reports uh, using the recent past or the uh, longer ago past to say what's going to happen, saying, you know, lumber prices are going to go back down to 200, 225. They are not, they are not going to go back down. The mills are not going to lose money. They're not going to go, they're not going to sell below the cost of production. So let's just have a look at this data that just came out for the housing starts and the permits. And then I'll come back with a little bit more to explain about the lumber market. Okay, so this is housing starts. The black line at the top there is total uh, housing starts uh, in the US and the gray line is one unit or single family. The three colored lines are the three benchmark lumber prices, two by four that I keep talking about, Western Spruce, Eastern Spruce and Southern Pine on the east side. So for July of 2021, housing starts for total are up 2.5% from last year and are down 7% from June of 2021. For single family, it's a bit better, up 12% from July of 2020 and down only 4.5% from June of 2021. And here we have the benchmark Western Spruce Pine Fir 2x4 produced in British Columbia, Alberta, Washington State, Oregon, and a little bit in Idaho. The blue line is this year. That price for the week of August 20, uh, 2021 was US $390 per thousand board feet. You can see that that matches pretty closely to 2019. And if you remember me saying 2019 was not a great year for housing and for lumber sales. Okay, and then this is permits. The black line is uh, one unit or single family starts, the same as was on the first graph and the gray line is one unit or single family permits. So total housing permits uh, for July were up 2.6% from June and were up 6% from July of 2020. Single family permits were up 1.7% from June. So like I was saying, we're going to see uh, an increase in single family starts uh, for September, which we will find out in October when that data comes out. So a couple of things worth noting in this latest data release while you're looking at this table for the lumber prices. Total units under construction are the highest since 2006 and as well the most units already sold which are still under construction the highest since 2006. There are 711,000 single family units under construction not completed and there are 686,000 multifamily units not completed still under construction, which is the highest since 1974. Total combined, 1.4 million units for housing are still under construction in the U.S. for July of 2021. Okay, so there you go. It's pretty clear that there's still some momentum of sales to go for this year, whether that's just going to last for a couple of months the way it usually does and then really slow down as uh, November and December come on, or there will be um, ongoing construction activity or reconstruction activity to the end of the year, which will keep the sawmills busy. We don't know that yet, but we'll see. 
the um, housing is just looking quite good and no reason to think that that's going to stop anytime soon. So the prices uh, and the sales volumes at the mills should maintain uh, at least for a month or so. And um, now this information that I put on my YouTube is a small selection of the total 450 individual lumber and panel prices that come out every Friday. So subscribers to Madison's Lumber Reporter have access to the dashboard and can see uh, at the minute of when we report uh, the price changes and give you the market commentary explaining why uh, the prices are you know going up or down uh, as they may be. So anyone who's interested in uh, actually seeing uh, the full data set and the uh, market commentary for each uh, item, the dimension lumber, the studs, Douglas fir, southern pine, uh, MSR, uh, OSB plywood and cedar, just go on my website, uh, the link is in the caption, and fill out a form. You can get a sample, have a look at what the uh, data that we cover is and where the prices are, uh, and you can subscribe to the weekly uh, update, and then you don't have to wait for um, when I have time to do a YouTube and just cover a few of the highest volume selling benchmark items. Okay.